Rated T for Teen. Welcome to the movie Stunts and Effects, the expansion to last year's simulation game of the year, The Movies. Here we can see I'm actually panning over a lot. We can see some of our new sets available to the player with this expansion pack. We can see some miniature sets as well. And I'm going to head on over and we can actually see a scene being shot right now on one of our new miniature city street sets. I'm going to come into the camera view. We can take a look at the action. We've got new vehicles, new fire effects, new explosions. Now I'm going to head off to one of our new city street sets. Here we can see our stunt performer getting ready to jump out of a burning building. We can also see an example of some of our new fire effects here as well. Now all of the additional stunt scenes that have been added with this expansion have a difficulty rating from 1 to 5. In this case, this is a very difficult scene that we have our star performing his own stunts. There's an upside and a downside to this. In this case, we've seen the downside. Our star has failed this stunt. If we use this scene in our final movie, critics and the public audience will know, and our movie will suffer. The movie's stunts and effects expansion adds a couple statistics to all of our characters. One being condition, the second being stunt skill. In this case, our poor stunt performer with poor stunt skill failed a stunt, was injured, and is in a bad state. So what we can do is we can bring him over to one of our new facilities. We now have a hospital facility. This functions similar to the rehab and cosmetic surgery from the original The Movies game. We can drop our poor wounded performer into the hospital facility. Now, instead of using a star to film his own stunts, players now have the ability to hire stuntmen. We've got stuntmen and women. We can hire her and now this stunt performer can double for any star that we assign her to. Now it's important for players to be aware of the overall looks and physique and gender and age of their stunt doubles and their stars. If you use a stunt double that's not appropriate, your overall movie rating will suffer. Now what I'm doing here is I'm bringing my stunt performer over to one of our new three stunt training facilities. Here we have our Spartan Torture Training Facility. We can train up her gymnastic skills, which will increase her overall stunt skill. Similar to when shooting a scene, when a stunt performer is training, they can succeed or fail at this training. Now, we do have three training facilities. Each one gets a little bit more difficult than the next. This is the Baptism of Fire. This is our medium level training facility, again, where our stunt performers can train up. And we have our third training facility, the Danger Dojo. Here our stunt performers can train up their hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. Now that we've got our stunt performers trained, players will actually want to create their own movies with stunts in them. If a player is not interested in creating their own movies from scratch, they can head on over to one of their script writing facilities and have the game create a script for them. For those players that want to take direct control of their movie creating process, we can head to the custom script facility. As we can see, it's the same advanced movie making interface as the original game with a few tweaks and upgrades. If we want to assign a stunt double to one of our performers, it's as simple as dragging them over and dropping them here. We can click and we can actually compare her to the stunt double to see how they look. Now let's head into our set scene selection screen and take a look at some of the new features available to the player as well as some of the new set scenes, costumes, and special effects. Here we can see one of our new city street sets. Now this scene is using the default camera that the game provides for the player. With the movie stunts and effects expansion though, we have this exciting new feature called free cam. Free cam allows the player to adjust and position the camera wherever they want within their scenes. Simply click on the free cam mode and position your cameras. We can click on the new upgraded environment button and see that players, like the original, can add rain but can now adjust the intensity from a light shower to a torrential downpour. Players can also add wind effects by choosing the various debris that is blown around on the set. Let's take a look at some of our new scenes and sets. Our next scene here is an example of one of our new miniature sets. You also have a new overlay feature. Here's a cool example. Here is our devastated miniature city where we can have actors performing to make our own cheesy monster thrillers. Here's our new scrolling landscape set which also uses miniatures. You can adjust the backdrop settings and we can actually pop on out of this camera view and see how the illusion is being done. Our next shot here is an example of our new green screen set and another shot of this set using one of our new spaceship vehicles. In this scene, we can see one of our new bridge sets, and we also see one of our new backdrops, one of our new rolling backdrops, giving the, the illusion of motion. 
Here we have an actor falling down, plunging to his doom. It's just a camera trick. Here we can see our new jungle landscape set, again highlighting some of the fire effects. We've also added bullet squibs to our scenes, and one of our most difficult stunts, the car crash. In these scenes, we actually have deforming cars and shattering glass. So overall, you've seen some of the exciting new features in the movie Stunts and Effects expansion. We have new sets, new scenes, new costumes, new fire and explosion effects, and overlays and camera and other effects, giving players the directorial reins to craft their creative masterpieces.